Let's explore raster analysis, which is truly a web-based image science laboratory to help you craft and evolve your analyses. The perform analysis button reveals the raster analysis capabilities, including 27 ready to use tools that deliver advanced analysis capabilities, including deep learning and multidimensional analysis. Raster analysis also includes the raster function editor and 160 system raster functions that you can explore, add, configure, chain together, and save. Here, the raster function browser enables easy filtering and search for existing raster function templates. I'm loading into the editor a burn severity analysis that will use multiple bands from pre and post fire Sentinel-2 imagery to map out severity classes. I can explore the functions in use, verify that the necessary variables will be exposed in the dialog, and check my class names, values, and colors. After committing to the analysis, the dialog is presented, including the pre-fire and post-fire variables I made public. I provide an output layer name and choose a hosted imagery layer type for the result. But before running the entire layer, I can show preview to verify the expected result. I can also specify whether to constrain processing of the new layer to the current map extent or not, and even estimate the credits that this analysis will consume. I'm now ready to run this analysis. To save us a few minutes, I've skipped ahead to the processed result a new tiled imagery layer with the burn severity classes applied across the entire fire area. I'm going to run a separate analysis to demonstrate the power of multidimensional data in ArcGIS Online. Returning to the daymat layer, we have daily slices spanning from 1980 to 2018. But as a part of fire recovery efforts, I'd like to have a precipitation forecast map for the coming months of rainfall. I'm loading another raster function template that makes use of the generate trend and predict using trend system functions to estimate precipitation through the end of 2021. I've set the necessary parameters and run the analysis. Fast forwarding to the result once again, I now have a monthly aggregate of precipitation statewide for the rest of the year. Having maps of burn severity and estimated rainfall over the fire area can help greatly in the recovery effort. An image science laboratory wouldn't be complete without Python notebooks. So let's add one more layer to the picture using the ArcGIS API for Python. We start by importing necessary libraries and packages prompt the user for their credentials to authenticate with ArcGIS Online, and then load the dynamic imagery layer for elevation. Next, we'll construct the terrain ruggedness index model in code. Apply the color map values for visualization and now display it on the fly. Finally, we can publish a new tiled imagery layer. 
using code and load it in the notebook. Mm -hmm.